Welcome to video number 18 SQL reporting service. In this video we'll be looking at the parameter based reports. So far we have seen as like uh, in the Visual Studio like you can have a one parameter or you can have you know uh, the selection using which you can select the report but now sometime it happens you know if you're looking at the data and I want to filter out the data based on some specific range so I no I, I just don't want to work with one parameter I want to work across with more than one parameters so it's like from and to date I'm just trying to look from 1996 to 1997 so what can we do for that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here I'm gonna right click add a new item I'm gonna add a report and I'm gonna call this report as the fourth report report four for what uh, let me check this is a parameter base right so parameter base report four <clears throat> I'm gonna add a report then I'm quickly I'm gonna jump into the data set and I'm gonna call this data set as parameter or anything next thing is I'm gonna choose new I'm gonna choose a share connection generic connection I'm gonna hit ok now share generic connection what you see is on the right hand side data source generic dot RDS if you want to see that how I created that then you need to go back and you need to watch that video alright it's very simple it will take hardly five minutes <coughs> so anyways moving on uh, I got query designer alright and in the query designer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my uh, order order details alright order order detail customers and products add so basic selection what we have then we are gonna choose the order date order ID uh, product name and uh, that's it contact name so this will do and in which I'll say now if you want then uh, and uh, after doing this now I'm gonna hit uh, simply ok I'm not uh, uh, putting any where conditions in here because I have a special friend who will do the job for me right or if you want uh, then you can do it but we can do that in the next if I get some time and I'll hit ok and I simply hit ok and now um, what can I do is this is I have done some rough work I'm sorry I'm gonna delete everything so now I'll get down to my toolbox I'm gonna add a table alright then I'm gonna get back to my report data and I'll start simply dragging the values order date order ID product name and who was that idiot who bought this product alright so save this guy and take this guy a little bit onto the center save it now quickly add parameters I'm gonna add this parameter as from as we said like you know we are going to create a parameter uh, which will give you uh, you know the list of records like how many order was was sold from which date to which date what was the duration you need to choose the things over here very carefully available values uh, you don't have so this is for the from date the next parameter you create is uh, to date I'm sorry to date prompt would be to date and what is that and it is a date hit ok now go to the tab likes right click and tablets properties and choose the filters add filter and the filters which you are applying is uh, is called as uh, the order date you're doing something on the base of uh, the order date you're applying some filter and the operator should be greater than equal to now what we are saying is like you know uh, I want to find the order in between some date range so what I want to do is I need to apply two filters one for the from date parameter and one for the to database uh, to date parameter so what I'm doing over here is I'm trying to apply expression I'm gonna click parameters I'm gonna choose from date I'm gonna hit ok so the moment I do that I'm just comparing the from date okay from I mean sorry the order date should be greater than equal to the from date and then I'm gonna add one more parameter again it's going to be date time again it's going to be this and it should be less than or equal to 
parameters to date so in between from and to date whatever orders you find you get me those orders right now let's save and preview this and the moment you do that you can see the current today's date so you click on that December then you click on 2013 then you click on 2010 2009 so you get an error of 1990 because if you remember in north when the data is from 1996 to 1997 so i'm going to choose 1996 i'm going to choose jan i'm going to choose second jan so this is my record and i'm going to choose copy this guy i'm going to paste this guy and i'm going to say 7 1997 so actually i'm looking the record from first jan i'm sorry the second january of 1996 to 1997 view report and you get tons and tons of record all right so now let's change the query 1996 and i'm gonna say the date is 7th of uh, february um no no i'm sorry the seventh month so it's june or july and if you view the reports and you're not getting any data seven two seven is what uh, seven is supposed to get me some data eight nine view report all right i got some data so actually from the month of 7th they have the records okay <clears throat> fine so this is the range in which i'm fitting for the from date and to date all right so i have given the month of 8 and 8 2 is my date so that's why i'm getting the max all the records by 8 so this is cool all right so i got my report in my hand so i'll repeat once again what i've done I've just created uh, the data set in which I have not applied any where clause or any stupid thing alright and then on the fly I have created two parameters okay and I have made them as uh, date that's it this is what I've done the main power was given by the tablets property in which we have applied two filters the logically what I wanted to do is I will give you some time span for an order date and if you find any records in between that then get me those records right so this is cool this I mean heavy lifting is done by the reporting service otherwise we could have written the query you know in here like the query and then we could have done that so let's do that we have some time and what are we going to do is first we're going to hit ok we're going to delete uh, this guy we're going to delete this guy we're going to come to table X properties and we're going to get down to the filters we going to select this and this as delete hit ok next thing what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fix our query and you will say where uh, the order date I'm sorry undo I'm sorry where uh, what are the order date comes in which table alright so orders dot order date order date right uh, orders date I'm not sure all right I can pick it up from here order date is less than equal to at the rate order date uh, maybe I should give it a name as uh, from date from date is good uh, should be I'm sorry great and then from date and the same thing copy paste hit end and it should be less than equal to to date now the moment if I do that and if I try to execute it is asking me a date now over here I'm not sure uh, what is the format is asking me so let me try 01 uh, not not I think I'm gonna try the year format to uh, 1996 hyphen or what am I doing uh, products and what is the date format for orders so I can go like this select start from orders okay hit F5 alright so the pattern is why 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 MMTD so I'm gonna copy this date I'm gonna get back to my visual studio and I'll check and this is for the month of July uh, now I'll hit OK and I get I'm getting three records okay I'm getting three records so I, I hit OK and the moment I do that I get my from and to date automatically and then I do the preview 
okay so now I see the different things in here I don't get the calendar prompt and the bullshit like that or maybe I can get it like that but maybe I need to configure my properties and I need to say this is not text this is date time next thing again I need to configure this fella as date time and hit OK the moment I do that and the moment I try to preview it now I get what I want but anyways I'm gonna paste something like this so 4 7 right so I'm gonna write 7 4 1996 okay control X control V shift tab control V and this guy should be 1 4 let's see do we have any data and yes indeed we have three records so this is cool I've showed you two techniques using which you can do it your way I mean like the point is like reporting service is very much powerful so we don't need to put a pressure on you know the SQL to do the heavy lifting so let the SQL reporting service do the job for us and we just sit back relax and enjoy right so it's your decision anyways in the end so I hope you like this video and you understand what I was trying to show you and if you like this video and if this video helps you in any way then please give me a like for this video and please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching